Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a classic nude makeup and I've made it a little bit glam as well so you can try this out for a special occasion. So we're going to start with some skin prep. I'm using a face mist to nicely hydrate my skin and then going in with one of my favorites which is the strobe cream from MAC. I'm using the shade gold light which I find is quite flattering for Indian skin. So this is basically a moisturizer which has some illuminating particles so it gives you a very soft and subtle glow without actually adding any visible shimmer to your skin. Let's do some color correction now. I have mixed my orange corrector with a little bit of concealer to create a slightly lighter shade since I have medium skin tone and I'm mostly focusing on areas where I have a lot of pigmentation for my eyes which is the inner corner and the outer corner. You can also use this in any areas of your face where you have pigmentation. Now let's get started with the foundation. I've used one which is quite long lasting that gives you good coverage and that's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Fresh Wear. This is slightly different from the other infallible foundations because this has a more satin finish and it's not as drying. When you're wearing any long stay foundations, it's very important to really hydrate your skin well because anything that's long wearing, over time it can make your skin a bit dry. So that's why using the strobe cream really helped me here because it's got a nice creamy consistency. Going in with a slightly lighter shade of concealer to brighten the eye area, especially the inner half of my under eyes. Do remember that if you want to use a light shade of concealer, it's really important to use an orange corrector first. Otherwise, you might end up with under eyes that look very greyish or ashy. So that's why important to use your orange corrector first and once you've corrected the pigmentation you can then use a slightly lighter shade of concealer in order to have a soft brightening effect. And now to set everything in place, I'm using a loose powder because I really like a dewy finish on the skin. I use loose powder only in areas that have high oil production like the center of my face and my under eyes in order to set the concealer. And I'm gently pushing the powder into my skin using a beauty blender. So I haven't really powdered my entire face. I've kept the periphery of my face quite dewy, just powdered the center. Going in for the brows now, I like to keep my brows quite natural looking. So all I'm doing here is filling in the gaps using a brow powder. Now the one element of glam in this look is this really drawn out eyeliner. And a style that I've been really liking these days is just doing a liner on the outer half of my eye and really focusing on just creating a really sharp wing and not really going thick on uh, the lash line itself. You can clean it up using a cotton bud. You can um, use a bit of concealer as well to clean off the edge. I'm just going in with a fine eyeliner brush just to make sure I've got that really precise and clean tip. Going in with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is a really nice mascara. It's really dark, it's really rich, it gives you length as well as really good volume. So I'm going to use this on the top as well as the bottom lashes. Just to add a touch more of the glam factor, I'm going in with a pair of lashes. 
I don't really remember which one these are because I've lost the outer packaging but anything which is not too thick, anything which is quite fluttery and wispy is going to give you a similar effect. Applying lashes can be a little tricky for beginners so this is what I recommend. Apply the glue along the band of the lash, let it dry for about 30 seconds and then place the lash on your lash line. Make sure there are no gaps between the lashes and your natural lash line and let the glue dry and then go in with your eyeliner to cover up any visible parts of the glue because that is something that can really spoil your entire look and then just pinch the lashes together so that the false lashes and your natural lashes are really stacked close together. time to add some definition to the face i'm going to use the smashbox cali contour palette i'm going to use the bronzer and that light peachy blush and i'm going to gently uh, not exactly contour but place the mix of the bronzer and the blush along my cheekbone just to have that nice warmth on the skin um, this color is going to be very natural so there's no pink tone to it if there's no peachiness really it just looks like a very neutral nude definition you can also add just a touch of it to your nose and i'm just basically doing a bit of contouring on my nose here I'm going to take the product a little bit along my hairline as well and you can also do the jawline if you want. For the lips I wanted to keep it quite nude so I've used the shade Top by MAC and this is absolutely the perfect warm nude for me. It's not too flesh toned so it doesn't wash me out and it's just that light brown perfect nude that works really nicely with this look. In the end I felt like I needed maybe a little more color on the cheeks so I decided to go with a peachy coral blush but I'm not using too much just a little bit to just brighten up the complexion a little bit otherwise the brown tones I felt were just making me look a bit tired. You can also use your bronzer along your neck uh, it's important because you don't want your face to not match with your neck so whatever you're doing to your face make sure you're taking it all the way down to your neckline. I decided to add one last touch and this is completely optional. I'm using a nude kajal this one is by Pack. And I'm just adding it to the waterline. So this is just going to open up my eyes, make them look a little brighter and fresher. And like I said, it's a completely optional step. You can just stop before this and that would be a nice finished look as well. So that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do try some of these techniques and let me know how your makeup turns out. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm uploading every Wednesday and Saturday. So make sure you tune in in the evening for new videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good weekend and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.